Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you my updated nighttime skincare routine. Now, this video has been highly requested along with my morning routine, which is already up. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to leave it below for you for your reference. A lot has changed with my nighttime routine since the last video that I uploaded back in February. I do like to test out new products, I do like to switch things up, and I'm always looking to improve my routines based on my skin concerns. So my skin concerns are redness, discoloration, I'm looking to improve texture, tone, brightness, to treat premature aging, and of course to help with breakouts because I am breakout prone. And this little routine that I have going on is one of my favorites. This has to be one of the best evening routines I have ever created for myself and I am just so impressed. So let me show you what I've been up to and of course the products that I'm going to be talking about in this video will all be linked below for you for your reference and for easy shopping. So let's get right into it but don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos and please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it really helps my channel with the algorithm. Alright so I am 35 soon to be 36 in February and I have combination skin. I am breakout prone and I do have redness. Now sometimes my redness can appear more prominent depending on the season that we're in and generally during the winter months when my skin is dry, the furnace is on, my skin can appear more rosy. And also depending on the skincare products that I am using, sometimes these actives can also create more of that rosiness as well. So I am using products to tone down on that redness and it is helping. Am I going to be 100% redness free one day? I I don't know. I mean, that would be really nice, but if I can improve my redness just a little bit, then that makes me really happy. I've also never had Botox, filler, or any type of surgery to alter my face, and I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that because I do get a lot of people asking me, and I'm not against these things. I just don't feel like I need them at this time. So if I ever decide to get anything done, I will let you know because my channel is all about transparency, and I want to take you along with me during my skincare journey. So I will definitely let you know one day if I ever decide to get something done. But the only thing that I've had done is Lumeca IPL. And this was to improve the redness and discoloration on my face. And I have two videos up on my channel showing before and afters. And I also brought you into the office while I got it done. So if you'd like to check out those videos, I will leave them below for you for your reference. So the first step to my nighttime routine is to remove my makeup and sunscreen. And I am a big fan of cleansing balms and cleansing oils and I do have quite the collection so I will pick and choose what I feel like using that evening but there are two products that have been on major repeat and I do like to alternate between them so I love the Paula's Choice Omega Plus Complex cleansing balm and I also really love the Pharmacy Green Clean Melt Away cleansing balm now the pharmacy I feel like they have some of the best cleansing balms on the market I've been using this brand and this type of product for years and I love how quickly it removes everything like within seconds your makeup and sunscreen is literally melted off the skin this works just as good it's just of course a little bit different different brand different formula but the same type of idea so these are my two go-to's but in today's clip you're gonna see me using the pharmacy green clean and as you can see here within seconds it's removing all of my foundation it's also loosening up that mascara the lip stain is honestly completely gone and this does a good job as that first cleanse and I highly recommend if you haven't tried it already. The next step is double cleansing and this is really important because I always want to make sure that my skin is really clean before I go in with my skincare products. So the cleanser that I'm loving is by Aveeno and this is the Daily Moisturizing Facial Cleanser. This is honestly one of the best drugstore cleansers on the market. I am just so impressed with this. This is my second bottle and I'm just going to keep purchasing this because it's one of those cleansers that keeps my skin hydrated, moisturized and balanced it doesn't strip my skin and it just really has that perfect formula so great for all skin types including dry sensitive skin this contains oats so if you do have a lot of sensitivities and irritation oats can really calm that skin barrier and I really like how this has that nice creamy gel texture that slightly foams up nothing crazy it doesn't lather up too much which I can appreciate it's just enough to cleanse that skin where your skin feels clean but not stripped. 
I then like to apply the Neod Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. I like to prep my skin prior to applying my serums because this is a great hydrator, so it really helps to get your skin ready for your serums for better absorption. Also, this is full of antioxidants, so a great product to treat early signs of aging to protect the skin from free radicals, but this also is a great mist to reduce on redness and sensitivities and irritation. And so because I have redness, this was one product that I really wanted to be consistent with to see if I noticed anything different. And I have been using this every day, twice a day for the last several months, and I can truly say this has really improved my redness. Also, this is just so hydrating. So this is a must have in both my morning and evening skincare routines. So while my skin is still damp from the Neod spray, I then like to go in with the Ordinary Amino Acids Plus B5, which is a great hydrating serum, but this is also very repairing as well. So this is one of those products that always needs to be in my morning and evening skincare routine because it really has improved my skin in terms of hydration. It really keeps my skin barrier nice and balanced as well. And when I'm using active ingredients, this is honestly a must. So this is one of those things that I've been using for many years. You you guys have heard me talk about this product a lot here on my channel and I will always continue on with it because not only is it extremely affordable, it's also really effective as well. I then like to apply the Dr. Dennis Gross Advanced Retinol Plus Ferulic Triple Correction Eye Serum. I just put a little amount on my one ring finger, I tap my two fingers together and of course I spread it across both eyes, on my eyelids, underneath the brow bone and I tap everything in. This is honestly one of the best eye serums serums I have ever used to treat early signs of aging, to soften those fine lines, to keep the skin nice and smooth and bright. This is also an eye serum that prevents milia, so if you are prone to them, this is going to be excellent to incorporate. A couple years ago, I had milia and it took a few months, but this eye serum completely diminished it. And generally when we have milia, we have to get them professionally removed by a dermatologist, and I didn't want to do that. So this eye serum completely diminished it. And and I've been using it ever since. This has retinol, bacuchiol, there's peptides in here, there's also AHAs to keep that skin nice and exfoliated. Honestly, this ingredient list is super impressive. So once the eye serum is applied, I do like to put an eye cream on top of it to lock in the hydration. So I'm using the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Eye Cream. I love this. This has ceramides to strengthen and repair the skin barrier. It also prevents moisture loss and there's also niacinamide in here. So I do find this to be quite brightening. So if you have dark circles, I think that you would really like this. So anytime I am using an eye serum that contains active ingredients like a retinol, AHAs, I will always put a moisturizer on top top of it, whether it's an eye cream or my face moisturizer, which I've done many times. Not only is it locking in that moisture, keeping the skin plump, but it's also keeping that skin as moisturized as possible, as well as repaired. And remember, that skin is very thin and delicate, so I think it's really important to be using some sort of a cream on top of your eye serum to really keep everything nice and moisturized. Now I'm going to be applying the Steva A Tretinoin Cream at a 0.05%. Before using this, I was using the 0.025%, which was a great strength to start off with, but now that I have graduated to the 0.05, I have seen such a big difference in my skin. This percentage really took my skin to the next level. The texture and tone has improved. I don't break out as much. Everything is just dramatically improved. So I apply a pea size amount out to my finger and then I like to distribute it evenly across the skin and then I like to work in sections so I will start with one cheek and lightly massage that all in I don't put this underneath my eyes I will just put it around that orbital bone to treat those crow's feet areas I will go around the jawline and that's it and I apply it all over my face I don't put tretinoin down my neck or chest because my neck and chest are very sensitive to tretinoin so I do have other products for that so tretinoin strictly stays on my face and I use this about five to six times per week I do like to take one or two days off just to give my skin a break because sometimes my skin will become quite 
quite flaky and dry so I do like to give myself a break there to bring my skin back to that level of no dryness but you know it's one of those things that you do need to be consistent with and the more consistent you are with it the better off you will be and also your skin will become more adjusted to it as well so after I've applied my tretinoin cream I then like to go in with the Finacea Azelaic Acid 15% concentration so this is a prescription and azelaic acid is great for those that have redness hyperpigmentation you're acne prone you have sensitive skin you have rosacea this ingredient can be wonderful to incorporate now since I have redness and since I am breakout prone I wanted to get this prescription and pair it up with my tretinoin and to be honest with you I was a little nervous pairing these two up because you know tretinoin is pretty strong on its own and I thought for sure you know once I pair up something like this I may experience irritation and sensitivities but surprisingly I did not experience any of that the only thing that I do notice is that my skin might be a little bit more dry and flaky especially around my mouth area and in between my eyebrows but other than that I don't experience anything out of the ordinary and this has really toned down my redness and this has also prevented further breakouts. So this pairing, honestly, is one of the best things I've ever done and I couldn't be happier. So I do like to apply a thin layer across my skin. So I do apply a little bit more than a pea size amount and I still spread it across my face evenly as you can see here and I lightly massage it into my skin. I don't put this underneath my eyes and I don't bring this down my neck or chest because my neck and chest don't really need this product so this strictly stays on my face. And this is also a very moisturizing form formula as well surprisingly and I am so impressed I really love this product so I love a good neck cream and I do have a few options that I like to use but lately there are two products that I've been most consistent with the first one being the Paula's Choice 1% retinol treatment this isn't necessarily a neck cream but this is something that you can use on your face as well I strictly keep this for my neck and my chest because my neck tolerates really well to this I don't have any irritation and I find this formula to be quite gentle in my opinion so not only does this contain a retinol but this also has peptides a vitamin C derivative and it's very moisturizing but if I don't feel like using a retinol on my chest and my neck then I will use the revision skincare neck to firm so this contains peptides five different types of peptides ceramides and this also lightly exfoliates the skin as well which is really important when it comes to the neck and chest area so this is fabulous it's one of my favorites I'm almost finished this I do have a backup and I use this every single morning and I will occasionally use it at night as as well but for today I am going to go in with the Paula's Choice so I do like to apply one pump and this is basically a pea size amount and I apply this all over my neck and my chest and I make sure that I get right underneath that jawline to cover all areas now before I go to bed I actually like to apply one pump of this into my hand cream to treat my hands because my hands can become quite dry and because of that they can look a little aged so I do like to apply retinol in with my hand cream and when I do that my hands look so much better and the final step is moisturizer so there are two here that I'm really loving the first one is the Tatcha indigo overnight repair so this is a serum in cream very moisturizing a little bit goes a long way because this spreads very nicely and I find this to be quite moisturizing but repairing so if you want that nice glowy dewy skin I highly recommend this like when I use this at night and I wake up in the morning my skin looks the same as it did before going to bed like this really helps to improve that skin barrier but if I'm not using this then I am using the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5 this is honestly one of the best to repair the skin this has that panthenol it has Metacasco side and I think this is nice for that nice rich cream that really helps to lock in that moisture so I'm actually going to be using this today and I'm quite generous with this product by the way I don't care how much I apply I just put the amount that I need and I don't put this underneath my eyes because I feel like when this product gets in your eyes it's very uncomfortable so I just keep this around that orbital bone keeping that skin nice and moisturized where the crow's feet are and I do put this down my neck and my chest as well I slather it all over the place and this is such a great moisturizer especially for the winter months 
So that is my updated nighttime skincare routine. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. And if you have any questions in regards to the products that I was using, please let me know in the comments below. Also, what works for me may not work for you, vice versa, but it's nice to watch these videos to get ideas. And if you have a similar skin type and skin concerns as me, then it gives you ideas as well on what you could do for your own personal routine. So again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will link up all of the products that I shared in today's video below for you. I will also link up my updated morning skincare routine as well if you're interested in knowing what I'm using in that routine. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next one. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.